What's up, everybody? Uh, today, I'm going to be reviewing every one of the exotic items in the new update, including the extra UC collectibles, to make sure you want to get everything that you'd like, uh, so that you don't have to spend anything that you don't want to spend for. So obviously, we're just going to put this here in the middle of the map because, you know, it's one of the new items as well, and key to getting the centillions, you know, just how the game works. All right, now... Right now, I'm going to just remove all these. We're going to place... Let's start with... um. Hold on. Alright, boys. So, right now, let's start with the orb basket. Um, Now, this is a way up high collectible upgrader you could buy with UC. And it seems likely to add money rather than just a straight up like 30,000 times multiplier. Um, Because... That would be a little too good. Uh, to confirm that, I'm going to do a ninja diamond mine. And let's see. The real magic behind this item is... Yeah, so it seems to just straight up add um, like 60,000 or something. And I'm not too sure what this straight multiplier is. But it's pretty good. I mean, it's probably... I think it's a pretty low multi based off what it seems like. But... Um, nonetheless, uh, for low life players, this is definitely really good. Um, I can definitely confirm. Also, thank WR5 for helping me, um, with the last eggs. Now I don't have to run around and be like, oh my god, every time, uh, egg spawn. So, yeah, alright. Now here we have the carrot farm, aka Chungai. And this does a flat times three. I'm going to be honest, um, I'm not really surprised. This definitely, for collectible, isn't horrible. Um, it could have been like a times two or a decimal multiplier. But I'm going to be honest, I think it's pretty neat. Um, considering it's part of the meme item collection to, uh, to a certain extent. So I like it. I think it's pretty cool. And let's get on to the next one. So... The the first item I wanted to review from the Exotic Collection, which we'll get to right after Carrot Wall. Good review. Okay. Now, pretty much I wanted to... Um, I wanted to review the Big Bunny first. It's, it is a side upgrader with a 2x3 uh, hitbox. I think it's pretty cool, honestly. Um, it's like the Golden Clover Blaster. Um, it does a times 4 and considering that size, that is absolutely amazing. Um, that is by far one of the best items in here, uh, considering its size. Multiplier, it's not the greatest, but you can get it out of boxes, so that you don't have to worry about. You can get as many as you want. Next up, we have the Bunny Infuser. Um, I don't think I'm going to try it th this video, considering I don't want to withdraw all this just to play in Infusers back for Champion. But from what I heard, it gives you extra speed and jump, so that is pretty good, but I don't necessarily know if it'll be like the new best Infuser, but... Nonetheless, it looks great. Next, we have the Royal Rabbit, which, um, as far as I could tell, it does a 5.5 times multiplier. Um, if there's any special stats to this, let me know in the comments below, because I've heard some different multipliers, and this is what I'm getting out of it. So, yeah, guys. Um, let's, um, let's get on to the next one. Also, for that one size, that was pretty good. Alright, next up we have the uh, Vitamin C Coder. And this one seems to do a times six. Actually, that's pretty good for its size. I will be honest with you. Um, in th with that big of a beam, I I think I think that's by far one of the best. Um, maybe not the best in multipliers, but I could definitely find a really nice setup uh, to use this in. Its conveyor speed though not too great. You could get that via one of the eggs. Next, we have the Malicious Incubator. Um, I was really excited to get to this one specifically because this also does have a turn in it. It doesn't have a straight conveyor. Um, yet, it does an amazing times 15. That's pretty good. Now, I am a little bit disappointed with the conveyor size, but it is really reasonable considering the build of the item. And nonetheless, it's really, really awesome, and I'm really digging it. So, um, yeah, but it's it's pretty good. It, oh, uh, apparently it adds poison, so 
you guys have to be safe with that too. Um, something like Havium would probably be a great mix for this item. So, yeah. So yeah, apparently it does um, $150 as well with uh, a Wild Spore after it. So that's really good. All right, now next up we have the um, Force Field. Now this is res uh, necessarily isn't that great. Um, Pretty much what it does is, I want to see if it prevents, so, oh, so if you don't have base permissions, you can't go in there. So, pretty much it blocks anyone out. Um, you can kill the force field, though, just by literally killing it. Um, it's not too hard to kill. It has pretty low health, honestly, but nonetheless, you could still go in there and destroy it. Next up, we have the uh, Mary God, considering I probably said that wrong. We're just going to go with it. Now, Maui. Maui, okay. Now, oh, damn, that's a times eight. Okay. Now, what I don't really like about the item is the size restriction. Uh, it's a really good multiplier with a really weird size. Uh, the ORS to obviously fit, and I don't think this would be uh, great for all ores um it also seems to set every other ore on fire or just random chance but i'm gonna see if maybe there's a duration thing that's just not working no so i think it's random chance there you go Let's see. Yeah, it's just random chance it'll randomly set some ores on fire. But with the times eight, that's pretty good. Um, and that would do a times forty with a wild spore. So that's that's even better. Now then we have the egg scream um refiner. Now apparently this one freezes ore temporarily, which is not good for most setups and from what it seems it does not unfreeze the ore oh it does okay yeah i'm i remember this being broken um if i recall so it does okay that's been fixed thankfully um it's definitely not good for fast setups and the multiplier is a solid Times four, so I don't really think it's worth it. Um, but that's just me. Yay, more stuck ores. Okay. All right. Next up on the list, we have the um the amber fossilizer, and this one is really not good. It's very dooky. It does a zero times multiplier resetting the ore's entire value um un unless the ore has been alive for at least a minute so not good for speed setups and it doesn't genuinely even have a good cap i think it caps out at like times four or around there if uh, i recall but i don't personally think it's worth the wait um considering how fast new setups are so it's up to you to decide if you have a slower setup or if you genuinely want scent this might be the best way to go but not for a genuine fast reborn setup Next, we have the Vaporwave, uh, the Vaporwave, uh, visualizer thingy. It's pretty cool, actually. It's probably one of my favorite ones. Uh, the Vaporwave vibe visualizer. I couldn't remember. Sure, because I didn't have much time to see it. But, this is really good. It does a times seven flat. No special requirements or anything. So, I think that's really, really good, um, considering the size of the beam and the small size of the upgrader. So this is great for cannon setups by far. Um, next up, we have the coconut uh, drencher. Now this is a brand new cell furnace and it's really cool. And it seems to do a random multiplier and the millions. So, 
it's not too great, but for an exotic, uh, it's great for low lives. So I highly suggest anyone with a lower life get it. And uh, yeah. Alright boys, next we have the, the the best mine in the game. Sorry, actually best furnace. Um, stand over here right now. Alright. We have the noob. Next up, we have a really, really nice item called the uh, the Devil the Blaster, and this is probably one of my favorites. It looks really cool. Um, I'm actually going to turn up my quality. Oh, it is max. Okay, I remember it looking a little different, but I'm probably just... Um, probably just losing my mind a little bit. Now, it's literally just a blaster. It sets auras, uh, it sets auras on fire. It does a times 14... And they obviously have a chance of exploding. It's not too high, but it's probably like one out of four ores, so. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's pretty pretty neat. Next up, we have the Gator's Cove, and I personally think by far this is one of the one of the nicest items out of the out of the bunch. Um, it looks really cool. Honestly, it really does. And, um... It, it's pretty nice. It's it's a hooded item. It does times 20, and it has a really small hitbox with a pretty great size. So far, all of these exotics are pretty amazing, except very few amounts. Next, we have the Dust Devil. Um... This one is pretty cool. Um, its hitbox is relatively large with a very small beam, actually. Uh, you can see it right there. And it does do a times three, so I'm not necessarily going to use this, but it's nonetheless a really cool item. Um, we're going to put this in the, in the rest. All right, now then we have the Reaper's Fortress. I will be giving away this item. Um, during today's stream so that'll probably be out within maybe a few minutes after the video so make sure to go check that out um this is one you could only obtain via having this or being launched the egg that drops from it so i will be giving away the egg um, make sure to stop by now this is a really good way up high it does um it seems to do a random multiplier each time ranging from like a five to seven um, multiplier and I still think that is pretty pretty good um, for what it is so make sure to stop by and get it because this will be probably one of the rare exotics all right the next item we have is the eye teleporter now by far this is one of my favorite items in the game right now it's super useful um, I'll be making a video about my new setup including all of these new items and the best ways to use them but this item particularly caught my attention um, when I was testing it. And pretty much how it works is it allows ores to be sent through platforms. So you could use um, some really cool upgrader lines and stuff. So it literally just takes the ore, teleports it through because the receiver is part of it. It's just on the bottom. And yeah, it drops through. And I think that is insanely cool. Because you could use some really cool platform techniques with that. So I, I like that a lot. I, I really do. Um, that'll probably be one of the best items in the game in the long run. So make sure to go and check it out. Alright, next up we have the Energy Core. Now this one was a little confusing for me to understand until I kind of realized it. And uh, I was hinted too because, you know, I'm kind of dumb. And... Pretty much how this one works is, as you could tell, it does have a really big bubble hitbox looking thing around it. Um, now, besides the fact it's a really small hitbox item, it has an insane multiplier and it's considered a portable, but it could be used anywhere, pretty much. Now, pretty much it has an invisible upgrade beam, which is that giant ball you see. And um, as you could tell here, it is really insane. Um, it does a times four, and considering you could place it 
even up to this far out, meaning you could place like ghosts and stuff in front of it. That's really good. All right, next up we have the Cybeg 9000. Um, I really, really like this item a lot. It's so cool. It is a item that can be placed pretty far away with a medium hitbox, does times 10, and also sets auras on fire. I think it's really good for that, and does a times 50 total multiplier when paired with Wild Spore. Now, this next item is the um, Obsidian Infusion Device. Now, as what I have been told, it does not have a multiplier, but it makes Ors Neon, so this could be pretty good, but... Oh, it does have a multiplier, so it does a times two, um, it seems. Okay. Um, or no, apparently only for the first ore that enters it, I guess, it gives a multiplier to any ores after that, it does not. But, um, yeah, it doesn't get, it doesn't do a multiplier, it doesn't reset value either, thankfully, but it does, it does give them neon, so that's still pretty good, I'd say. And, uh, yeah. Next up, we have the, um, the final item. Actually, I'm gonna save that one for later, uh, but, um, instead we'll do illusions. You can get this via the maze in the tower, which is obtainable from the chest in the secret room, which isn't really hard to find. You just fly up into the center of the room. Alright, now this does... Does um does the illusions of void have any multiple or like side effects to it or or no? I don't know. I don't know either. Um, I'm gonna check really quick if the ore dies. I got this to work. <laughs> All right. And so what it seems like there is no negative um tag that goes onto it. So. It's still really good. It is like a fine point as well, but it does do a times nine, which I'd say is pretty nice considering if you're using a cannon, it does have a pretty big beam. Um, but yeah. All right, now next we have, um, surprisingly enough, a furnace, and it does a times 50. And I'm going to be honest, this is pretty good for low-life uh, players, so I highly suggest if you're a lower life, get this furnace. It's really good, and you'll get to keep it forever, so yeah, no need to worry about that. Really good item, just not if you are a high life. Now, until the last one, these will be the last few um, being used. Um, no, okay. <laughs> we have the... Um, the sand shark teleporter set now i really like these actually and now how this works is it just goes to the receiver it is set on fire as well but it also gets a um it also gets a times 10. what does this do it um nullifies the effects of the indoctrinator so it does what void drive does yeah. Oh, that's really good. Wait, uh, look, Mima. Honeycomb. Yeah, look. Raw. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use this in my. All right, now this does a times ten. Um, I think that's really good, considering these are like really small goliath skulls and you actually have a chance to get them now so get your extra teleporter before it's gone i know you're gonna want it so yeah also i did forget to mention um this item exists too the cosmic device uh this does a apparent times 13 but it is also anti-gravity so i don't know if it's necessarily the best thing to use but if you could find a great way to use it with cannons i highly recommend it it is a times 13 and it's hydraulic so yeah, also, it looks really cool. It reminds me of the Banshee from Halo for some reason. I don't know why. All right, now the last item is the um, the Ruby Crystallizer. I was really excited to do a review for this item, actually, because I have not tested this. So let's see. Let's get a ramp.
It's a times 10 with a huge beam. Okay, I'm most certainly using this. Uh, this is the last item you could get, pretty much. It's, it's obtainable by getting every other egg item, so... You do have to pretty much get all of these before you can get this, and I think it's well worth it, considering the mass amount of exotics, but by far, the Illusions of Void is one of the best. It does an insane... with Paired with Indoctrinator, Illusion, and Ormimer, those with just a basic uh, Iron Mine can compare to some uh, early game cell furnaces, so that's still really good. It does a total of... Um, what's the multiplier on that? It, that would be... K, it's one... Uh, so here, wait. Is you just... It is... 75,000. Yeah, I... I think that's insanely OP. But, yeah guys, um, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the stream really soon. And, uh, yeah. Peace out.